Hey, got a cheap lithium polymer battery out of a headphones, a Bluetooth headphones. The Bluetooth headphones died, so I'm going to use that with this. Now, what is it? It's a TP4056 module connected to this buck boost converter. So I'm going to set it at about six, six volts and that's going to run my torch and it's going to have the usb at the back which i'm going to glue in hopefully and that will run my dolphin torch which is a lot better than using an old six volt battery anyway we'll talk soon we'll have some more coming up oh look jeff's come to visit and look at the mess i've got Anyway, I've got to clean up in here one of these days. Okay, I've finished doing it. I've glued it in underneath there and I have put the board glued on top. Two wires coming out and there is the connector at the back. And, that. and I've just soldered it onto the center pin for the earth and the outer pin for the live, now we just have to put it back together again and we'll see if it turns on. So we've got the uh, torch here, we've got the switch on the top, and that's running off a small 3.7 640 milliamp battery in the back, which you can recharge at any time. And I'm pretty happy with that. If you've got any comments or uh, ways of improving this design, I'd love to hear about it. You could increase the amount of battery power you've got in it. And that would be another idea. You, we could put even a solar panel onto it and use the power off the solar panel to charge the actual um, battery, which would be another idea. That might be another episode. Um, please leave me a comment below. Ring that bell. And I'll see you next time for the next edition a bit of hacking all right see ya so i charged up the uh the board or the actual battery and now i've tested it out now the center pin is your negative this is your positive here don't ask me why it's there but if you hook onto here nothing happens so pretty much if i pop that onto there I'll try and pop it underneath, which will make it a lot easier for me. And I hook off to here, it turns the light on. See the light? But if I hook onto the other side, nothing happens. So what I'll do is I'll solder it onto here and solder it to the center. I will glue this into the back. Now I'll put that up to the light. And because you can see right through it, you just produce where you're going to put the hole and I'm just going to dremel it out and finish it off. So I'll just cut it out and we'll see what happens. Not really my finest cutting act. Um, I can still see part of the battery so I'm going to have to sort something out there. But uh, it'll work. I'll just put a bit of uh, plastic back into it and fill it. So we'll glue it in and we'll have a battery pretty good so so far I have put my positive to the left and my negative to the right off my battery and now from these two pins here on the left hand side here you've got B Hold on, let's have a quick look I think it's B negative but I'll double check um, can't even get a focus on it I'll have a quick look So we have voltage out positive to the left and voltage negative to the right off the uh, buck boost converter and then we have an adjustment where um, we'll adjust it up to 6 volts.